All right, so for this lesson here, we'll be looking at excess and shortage. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question here. So some children are sharing oranges. So if each child gets three oranges, there will be two extra oranges. And if each child gets four oranges, there will be two oranges short. So how many children are there? So let's uh, look at the keywords. We know that if every child, that means one child, gets three oranges, there will be two extra oranges. Okay, and if each child were to get four oranges, there will be two oranges short. So how many children are there? Okay, so you can, so I will draw out and show you. So that means if every child were to get three oranges, three oranges, three oranges, what happens? There will be a shortage of, no, not shortage, there will be two extra oranges, correct? But if, let's say, if every child were to get four oranges, four oranges, what happens? There will be um, two, there will be a shortage of two oranges, okay? So this is what, I, what we call by excess, okay, excess and shortage, okay, so this is what we call the excess and shortage, so extra and short off, all right. So with this, whenever you see questions like this, extra and short, excess and shortage, right, you can apply um, this method here, which I'm going to show you how, okay, you have to follow the steps, huh? once you follow the steps, you will have no problem in solving the question. Okay, so the first step is step number one. Always find the difference. Difference of what? Okay, difference of this. Okay, what is the difference between if let's say every child were to get three oranges and every child were to get four oranges? And what's the difference here? So you just find the difference first, which is four minus three. Okay, so that's the difference first. Okay, so four minus three is one. Okay, so after you found the difference and your step number two would be, okay, your step number two would be add, okay, add up. Add up what? The excess and the shortage, okay, add up excess and shortage, okay. Once you add up these two, which is, what's the excess and shortage here? Okay, we know that the excess, there are two extra. And the shortage here is two as well, okay? So you just add up these two. Okay, and that's four. All right. So, and then, after that is your third step, which is your last step. Okay, after that you can find the answer. Okay, which is step number three. Okay, let me see. Step number three is divide. So what do you divide? You will take this, okay? to divide by this, okay, the, this one, the addition here, what you have found out from here, divide by the difference here, and then you'll be able to find the number of children. So you just use 4 divided by 1 is equals to 4. So how many children are there? 4 children, and that is your answer. So whenever you see questions like excess and shortage, huh, in this case, extra and short, right, short off, you just apply this method here. Difference, find the difference, add up, and then you divide. So you can call this DAD if you want to, okay? Okay, DAD. So divide, add up, and then, sorry, find the difference, add, and then you divide. Okay?